and welcome to Nadia's Molten Imaginings, and welcome back to the Caravan Project. Part 6. As you can see here, the area has improved, there's a nice new fence up, the hood of the caravan has a lovely little tassel attached, and unfortunately my little bluebirds have now also been painted out. I am in the process of doing a green border around all the gold swirls on the outer edges and all the other areas are now painted gold. Right, just going to finish off this front by uh, doing this panel here on there and there. My client gave me a design to work with um, and I really liked the design and I was happy to go with it. She had actually been quite happy with the bluebirds I did previously, only she said that the eyes on them had scared one of the children. I don't know, maybe they were a bit psychedelic. So I adapted this panel she showed me for the front panels here, just made it a little bit thinner. And I think this has a very unifying quality. It sort of ties everything together. Three, two, one. Then I go over the designs with my white undercoat, just so that I can then put the gold paint on top and it really pops. Now I'm going in with some green paint, basically just overpainting the black lines that I had on the front and turning them into green outlines, as well as all these little sort of fleur de lis type designs, um, I'm turning them all green as well. This is just a bit fiddly and needs to be done. Now I'm continuing around the side, drawing out this panel design on all four of these panels. I started drawing the design from the top, realised it worked better starting from the middle, and so for all of these I'm just copying this nice design. It has enough twiddly bits to be interesting and is actually very grounding for the whole overall look. Mentally I was calling this the star swirl. Got a ladder now. I'm going to make the top to do the thing around there and then some whirls all the way around the top. Since the wheels were added to the caravan, it was higher than when I originally painted the front of it. This meant in order to overpaint the front panel, I needed a ladder. And I also needed the ladder to paint the top hood design. I don't like this ladder. <laughs> it's the door. Oh. It doesn't feel very safe. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. I think I know what I need to do. Um, I just need to be able to get. Is this, can this spread a bit more? Because I think I'd feel like it would be safer if I could spread it. Oh, there we go, I've got it. Try it before I go. It's what I've done before. Go on. <laughs> well, 
That, that'll do, yeah, that'll do. That yeah. should be fine. <laughs> I think we've got the hang of it. <laughs> like, we'll do the green bit around here first and then, then I'll do these ones. I tell you that's looking nice then. Oh, you alright there? Yeah. It's just they're rather narrow these la little steps. I made do with the rickety ladder for about half an hour. What I really needed was a smaller ladder. I discovered, and then I came up with Plan B. Right, now I've got something a little more stable. <laughs> Right. That was a little easier. Now, of course, I have to go up and along and around with some swirls. Ah, uh, that's the next job. There was no smaller step ladder, so I decided to use the children's play slide that was in the little play park area where I was painting. This was exactly the right height, was a lot more stable, and had a lovely flat area at the top where I could rest my pot of paint. It was also a lot easier to move around when I needed to change position. Uh, the idea to do the swirls along the hood of the caravan was really great and I was thinking it was just going to be left blank until she said, oh I want some swirls up there as well and I thought, okay we'll see if I can actually fit anything on there because it was quite a narrow piece of wood and when I started doing it I thought this is looking amazing immediately and it really really brings the whole look of the front together. I think the gold generally just makes it look really opulent which is such a great look. Now I tried to copy the design from one side over to the other to try and make it symmetrical and then of course I added the white undercoat to it again. new fence up here and I'm going to draw horse, horse and the same patterns I did on the other side. So now I've got to, I think, do the horses first because they're a bit more tricky. What I did for the horses was I went round to the other side, took a photo of the horses I'd already painted and then came round to the other side so that I could copy them exactly and keep the styles right because if I was just using the reference to copy uh, I might have changed up the style or something. This way I knew they were going to be identical. Unfortunately my angle wasn't great here and I couldn't get the whole of the side in so you don't see the other horse so well. Um, I did the star swirls again and when I got to the end of the panels I was looking at this horse at the end and thinking there's something not quite right about him and I think the nose I spent rather a lot of time trying to get the nose just right and I think I think I got it in the end again the same process as I used to paint on the other side using a black grey mixture of paint um, unfortunate about this angle is the light was shining on it slightly and I didn't realize this until after I'd filmed it but you get the idea it's just a lot of blending more blending and a lot more blend.
I decided to do the star swirls next. I kept saying to myself throughout these sections of the project, I'm just going to do this one bit, and then I'm just going to do this one bit, and then it'll be finished. And then I'll just do this one other bit and it'll be finished. And um, it actually took me way longer than I thought it was going to. Because once I'd drawn the drawings, then I had to go back over them with the white undercoat before I could go over the top of them with the gold. Then I had to add green outlines as the final part. This was on four panels on one side. Then, of course, I had to do the same four panels on the other side. Right, I'm on the other side. I'm going to finish these designs off, add the green outline, and paint these white bits uh, gold. And then that will be the second side all finished, and i work on the back. Of course, the finalisation of the back is for another video. I have so much footage left of this project, and I am going to show you every last little detail. Now I'm working on the green outlines and again just a very very fiddly process which really made it look amazing once it was done. It had been a while since I was back on this side working on it and so I needed to dust down some of the surface where a lot of the um, sort of seeds and stuff from the trees had blown onto it. It's in a beautiful location, the caravan, just under all these lovely trees right in the middle of the countryside. It was just such a joy to work on, even by the fact that at this point I think my dreams were red, gold and green. For the star swirls I did one outline very finely of the green and then I did a, a thicker outline um, going around the entire thing. So I did actually do two green outlines on each of the star swirl patterns and as the green as you can see, wasn't showing up very well. I think I did have to go back and do like a second coat for these as well. Right, time to finish off this front part here and make these all gold and green and done. So I started adding the gold paint to these final little touches on the front. I just had to wait for the white paint to dry before I could do that. So I'm finalizing the front here and then suddenly the heavens opened. I had to run for cover in the porch and even the poor wee dog was not happy with it at all and so I wasn't able to film the last section of that front part painting. However, after the rain, the steam rising from the roof was just amazing. but there's still a lot more work to do, so stay tuned for part seven. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.